university and he wanted to introduce an idea which in my opinion you should take with you in every time when you are faced with the notion of how do we look at the work of art whether it is classic art or the art of the year 2097 or 2500 have you seen it you okay <laughs> for the year 2500 plus this distinction should stay with you <coughs> nomothetic is that which is based on the law and in this respect Windelband made the observation that scientific theories are an expression of nomothetic knowledge in other words when we talk about gravity we're talking about something that will again and again and again and again and again confirm the law of gravity as it was established by Newton and I assume that you got this from high school or from some form of school there are many other laws of physics which we take for granted as to be permanent laws and without the knowledge of such laws we would not have been able to build machines such as computers, cars the watches that you are using and many others those are the laws of the sun now he says the knowledge expressed through in, in, in nomothetic form is a knowledge that is then continuously confirmed through experiments so you can do a million experiments having things fall or you can do million experiments that relate to other laws of physics and you are going to see that they have a permanence so the nomothetic is that which pertains to the law and which we take with us as being part of the permanence of our existence okay? the living itself is subject to law we deal with things that are singular in nature that are unique that happen once that you cannot experiment if you are going to experiment you are not going to see them confirmed because they are singular appearances and now if you take and that's the easy way for me if you take any form of art that you are aware of that you like you are going to define an artist to a quality that is his or her uniqueness you don't expect the artist to be the person who will repeat like a machine based on a law art is discovery the science is expression of discoveries of permanence art is discovery of that which is unique singular I felt that as we get to the end of the semester I need to bring this to your attention especially in the context in which we started discussing scientific theories of art such as an attempt to take information theory in order to describe a work of art and what does the information theory do if you remember last time two times ago I kept coming with a formula of the so-called aesthetic order which we then saw together is the relation between complexity as we're able to describe it okay, and the order within a work of art let's imagine that you look at the work of art and you say here is the aesthetic measure 7.29 I'm throwing at you a number it really means nothing and that's exactly what I wanted to say if you say that this projector is 4.79 pounds that number means something if you go to the post office or it means something if you are going to put it 
on a surface that can only take three parts and it breaks. In this means something. But if you say about the work of art, a setting measure is seven point something. Means nothing. In other words, yes, we should try to understand the rational component of each attempt made by artists to express themselves. 